have a question here. The question is, the other bridge limit test. The following data were obtained. The number of blows are given in this column. The corresponding moisture content in percent are given in this column. The plastic limit test moisture content equals 21.3%. Draw the flow curve and obtain the liquid limit. Construct your graph according to appropriate scales and identify each data point on graph. So the first thing we want to do is to draw a flow curve using the data given to us above. And thereafter, we are going to extrapolate the liquid limit from the curve. So to do that, we are going to plot the graph using a semi-log graph. This is a two-cycle semi-log graph. A semi-log graph has the y-axis in linear scale and the, the x-axis in a logarithmic scale. So uh, it is called the two-cycle semi-log graph because it has a, a two cycles. That is, from here to here, is the first the first cycle and this is the raised to the power of uh, zero which is equal to one so that means each of the minor division or the minor grid lines is going to increase by one as you move in this direction so here let me zoom in. So you're going to have uh, here as one, it's going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and yeah, it's going to be ten. So each uh, minor grid line is increasing uh, by by one. The second cycle is is this one, which is from here. To here. So what you have is uh, is uh, 10 raised to the power of 1, which is equal to 10. So that means each of the minor grid lines is increasing by 10 as you move in this direction. So you have from here, which is 10, here is going to be 20, here is going to be 30, here is going to be 40, 50, 60, and so on until you get to this place, which is 100. So having explained what a two-cycle similar graph is, we're gonna go ahead and uh, plot the graph. To plot the graph, the first thing we're gonna do is to label the axis. The number of blows is gonna be the, the x-axis. Why the moisture containing percentage is going to be the y axis. Note that the maximum number in the y axis is 42.1. The minimum number is 34.1. So let's label the y axis.
So having labeled the y axis, let's we're going to label the x axis. So the first cycle is going to be from here to here, which is here is going to be turn as 10 raised to the power of zero. The second cycle is 10 raised to, to the power of one. So from here to here, here is going to be 100. The next step, we are going to plot the data. So let's plot the data on the graph. So we have 17 against 42.1. 17 is going to be somewhere around here. So against uh, 42.1 and uh, 1 in the y-axis. So the data point is going to be here. Next, we have 22 against 38.2. So 22, the x axis is going to be, yeah, it's 20, so it's going to be somewhere right here against 38. Point two, so thirty eight point two is going to be somewhere around here. That is thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. So twenty two is going to be here. So The next data point is 27 against 36.2. Here is 20, here is 25. So 27 is going to be between here and here, which is in between here. So against 36.2. Thirty six point two is here, thirty six is here, thirty five, thirty six. Lastly, we have thirty two against thirty four point one. Here is 30, so here somewhere around here is going to be 32 against 34.1. Here is 35, so here is going to be 34. So the next step, we are going to draw a trend line. To do that, we are going to draw the best fit straight line through the plotter point. And I'm going to make sure that I get the best fit line. Yeah, perfect. So this is the best fit line. So I want to change the color. So how we drawn the trend line, we are going to extrapolate the liquid limit from here to here. 
from the curve. So in order to do that, we are going to draw a line from where we have 25 as the number of blow. Here is 20, here is gonna be 25. So where you have 25 as the number of blow, if you draw a straight line to intercept the curve, and then you trace it uh, towards uh, the y-axis to intersect the y-axis, you're gonna get the liquid image. So let's do that. So this is where the, the line from the from where you have 25 at the x uh, axis to the curve, this way it intercepts the curve. So if you draw another line from here to the y axis, we're going to get the, the liquid image. So let me change the color of the line so that it can be more visible. So at this point where the line intercept the y axis here is the, the liquid image. So the liquid image is 37.2, as you can see. So lastly, we ask to identify each data point on graph. So we're going to identify each of the data point that we have plotted on the graph. So the first data point is 17 against 42.1, which is here. The second data point is 22 against 38.2, which is here. Next is 27 against 36.2, which is here. And then lastly is 32 against 34.1, which is here. So guys, this is the end of this video.